It's finally here! This is the Play for Dream MR, an ultra high end standalone headset with the highest resolution on the market running on Android. We already saw it CS 2025, but it's finally in my hands. But yeah, it was completely unusable. It was getting migraines and I couldn't get to the sweet spot. So instead of bashing the headset online because I saw the potential, I decided uh, to actually collaborate with uh, Sir Dominic and actually create a custom face cushion to actually solve all of it. And then we've been so Successful. Highly successful. I'm starting to see a pattern over here in the latest video. But yeah, this changed completely again my view on the Playful Dream MR, making it not only possibly the most comfortable standalone headset right now, but also possibly the best wireless PC VR by a long shot. So, well, let's discover the Playful Dream MR together in this video. We're gonna see how to fix it and, of course, my first impressions of it. Let's get into it. All right, and here we are with the Play for Dream MR. Uh, this is not the box, of course. This is the carrying case that they're gonna sell very soon with also a nice handle to bring it around. It's a solid one. So uh, let's open it up because we should have everything that is gonna be included in the box as well. So three, two, one. Here we go with the Play for Dream MR in all its glory. Put this on the side a bit. We're gonna have the two controllers because the focus of this thing is more into gaming. A charger, USB type A and USB type C. Uh, very nice to see. An additional face pad, a bit thicker than the one already mounted. It mounts magnetically. A nice braided cable, it's a L shape, type C to type C. Other side, another cable, USB type A to two USB type C. It's a white cable to charge the controllers. And now we know why we have two ports over here. Very smart. But let's get to the important part of the show that is of course uh, the Play for Dream MR. It does come with this uh, nice cover to actually cover the front that uh, should be shiny. And uh, yeah, this looks already very nice indeed and a very premium feeling. It doesn't have to, I'm gonna write over here uh, the actual weight of the headset. And uh, yeah, we have a strap that is already attached so uh, you can close it and open with the dial on the back with this uh, little pad in a soft material completely removable. As we saw, there are two face cushions. This one is a bit thinner and uh, it attaches magnetically very easily. And also the face gasket attaches as well magnetically and has this nice textile all around it. Talking about the headset itself, we have button for taking pictures and also reprogrammable. The dial on top for volume and immersion. Uh, two opening, I guess, for the fan, uh, because here we have a, an XR2 Gen 2 Plus inside, so it's gonna run a bit hotter than what we have on the Quest, for example. Uh, we have the two cameras on the bottom for the tracking and other openings for the vents. Uh, it's very interesting. And in the front, you can see under the glass, we have other cameras for tracking. And I believe uh, we also have time of flight sensor to actually improve the tracking accuracy as well. It's gonna be hard to show you, but here we are uh, with the lenses. These are pancake lenses. Under that, there's a crazy resolution of 3552 by 3880 micro OLED displays. For sure, the IS for any standalone headset. And it will be very interesting to see how the chip inside actually manages to run everything. The construction is in metal. It feels very, very sturdy and good, and all the rest is an actual plastic, uh, including the front. I wanna show you a bit again uh, the controllers. As the difference between this and the Apple Vision Pro, for example, it is that it's very focused on gaming as well. That's why we have two controllers in the box that's very good. Uh, they're gonna be tracked by the cameras on the headset directly. Uh, and we have this standard button laid out with the A and B, X and Y, uh, the two thumbstick, everything is capacitive, by the way, over here. The start button, the menu button, and then we have the two analog trigger and the two grips that are just button in this case. Very comfy indeed, the hands lay very well. They have the battery integrated, so you charge it with the Type-C over here. Yeah, they're pretty light, they feel very good. But yeah, this is what you're gonna find in the box directly in the Play for Dream MR. Let's try it out, shall we? So yeah, here we are with the Play for Dream MR. 
in all its glory, running other custom software that, well, uh, it's very similar to what it is Vision OS right now. Uh, it runs completely on Android. I'm actually gonna make a full video about like this software uh, in the next one because I think that it's very interesting to actually understand how it works and the particular possibilities of this headset. But what's my favorite thing over here, it's actually that little thing, the PC VR stream, because this thing is too very, very, very high resolution micro OLED display covered by two custom made pancake lenses with also eye tracking that we can use as you saw to actually interact with the software directly a la Vision Pro. And that means that playing PC VR games over here will look absolutely outstanding. Unfortunately, the software is not completely ready just yet. And there are some problems with latency and gamma, uh, but this is already the best looking wireless PC VR headset by a long shot. And bear in mind that today they even announced VD Virtual Desktop is coming in the next week to the store. So yeah, I'm very excited for it, but it's not just that. So yeah, this is a full standalone headset running on the XR2 Plus Gen 2 platform. So the more powerful chipset than the one that we have on the Quest 3, and it's based completely on Android. So uh, we have different applications that we can use and bring around the environment to have a full uh, mixed reality possibility. But yeah, you can go also in full uh, VR mode, as you can see, changing with the dial on top. We're gonna have a dedicated store uh, where to download all the apps uh, that we need to play it standalone. Fortunately, though, the store is not that big just yet. And I'm gonna be honest, in this period, kind of became my primary PC VR headset just for the quality of the lenses and the screens. Uh, but it wasn't like that when I got it right away. Uh, because the big problem for me was the official face cover and not just for comfort but also the way it was getting me in front of those lenses. It was unusable and giving me big headache as I had to wear it in a completely front position. The headset itself is very good for comfort, uh, it has a good balance front and back with the back staying a bit higher up to actually cup your crane pretty good, but it just didn't work for me and for many people I saw on Discord. This is mostly made for the Eastern market, so for different face shapes, and it's like if they forgot that in the West we actually have noses, and that forced you to actually wear this headset in the wrong way, making the chromatic aberration very, very, very bad indeed. And also taking out also pretty much the big FOV that it has. Uh, I was able to achieve with the custom made uh, face cushion around 109 degrees that I think it being very, very good indeed in a PC VR. And with this one, I could barely get close uh, to 95, 96 degrees. I'm gonna share the files down anyway. And uh, Sir Dominic actually uh, worked with me on this. And for work with me, did pretty much everything while I was using filament and giving feedback to actually uh, create the right angle uh, and everything. Uh, you can download the file, print yourself, and uh, just fix uh, the situation that we have over here. To be completely transparent though, Play for Dream is also working on a new cover for uh, the Western market. I'm actually helping a bit with it as well. Uh, so yeah, let's expect a new one uh, soon. But right now, this one is the best solution. I'm very, very proud of the results over here. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. And by the way, this is not sponsored by Illigo, but uh, they actually sent their printer and I've been using that one to do all the prints on this thing. And I think that the quality is absolutely fantastic. And yeah, just a shout out to them. I'm gonna leave the link to the printer in the description below because it's crazy cheap uh, for what it offers. And uh, yeah, without them, I wouldn't be able to actually use this headset properly. So, Go well, go. But yeah, this headset is very close to actually hitting the soft spot for me because I always wanted a real all-in-one. You have the lens quality very close to the Quest 3. It's not there yet, but we're gonna see more uh, in the True Lenses video. But with a crazy resolution and amazing colors that just the micro OLED display uh, can actually give. So you have this duality where you actually have a, a full standalone system that you can use to install your Android apps or everything. And on the other side, you can actually use it to stream for your PC, uh, PC VR games, and you're gonna get 
great quality, no matter what, thanks to these amazing displays. Also about the visuals, the 72 Hz mode is amazing because at this resolution is gonna use a lot of computing power. And so you can make your GPU breathe a bit. And uh, this is like the only option that you have right now to play high quality, high resolution PC VR. But yeah, is this perfect? How did it treat me in these two weeks? Uh, well, I will say that the software still needs uh, too much here. The PC VR streaming uh, creates some problem with the PC where if you have it installed, you can just use this one uh, because it will not recognize the other headset. So I had to uninstall it all the time. The gamma uh, for some reason is a bit off. That's why I'm not doing a true lenses video just yet. But overall, the clarity and the colors are just amazing. And I already started to use it daily uh, for PC VR just because of the quality of the screen, the quality of these lenses. And at the end of the day, the ease of use where you just connect the cable if you want and you play with it without the problem of the battery as well. For PC VR, ALVR is not really ready yet, but VD is incoming. So uh, it's very good. And the native version is kind of a as we said, high latency and uh, it kind of a wrong gamma. But playing with it is very good thanks to the integrated audio, the tracking that works very, very well indeed, also with the controllers that comes in the box. So not for party trickeries are needed. And just a quick one, Mixed Reality is very good. It's very similar to the Quest 3 and there's many options, but we're gonna see it also in the video dedicated to the software. I'm gonna be honest, as you might know, I was very impressed at CES 2025 when I tried it and I'm even more impressed right now. I just had to solve the issue many people actually have because of their face shape. But so far, if they nail that and they make the software mature, I think this is gonna be a big hit. And yeah, I really like it. I really enjoy it. Having something that comes already uh, with a pair of controllers also for gaming, but it can be used also for productivity and everything is just amazing. Uh, it reminds me a lot of what a Quest Pro was and what the Quest Pro 2 should have been. And uh, yeah, I think uh, Play for Dream has a real gem over here and hopefully will mature in the future. Uh, this is not gonna be the last video. I actually using this a lot, but yeah, I don't wanna go too long because we already had the unboxing. This is the first impression. We're gonna see the software and then we're gonna start to review it uh, a bit better uh, with all the different characteristics and show you this thing, this uh, fingerprint magnet a bit better. <laughs> I see you guys next video. Thanks for watching.